the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and today I'm pleased to have the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Graves. What was Jerry and Doyle's reaction when they heard some of your songs? I think that they were surprised. I think that they were real, real happy because there were so many of them, and I just kept on bringing them ideas. I worked real closely with Chud um, to develop the ideas that I was coming up with, and then I would go to Doyle. Um, Doyle's as well, and we, you know, he had like a little um, eight track that that we that we messed with, and just started developing all these ideas that I had: black light and hunger, and, uh, dig up her bones, and American Psycho, Walk Among Us were were some of the first ones that I came out with. I know that they were pleasantly surprised that I, I was this writing force. How did the deal with Geffen Records come about? And how did they treat you? I was low man on the totem pole. I remember Michael Lago who signed us coming out on the road uh, when we were out in California. And I just, you know, I remember hearing about him. He signed Metallica, Rob Zombie, and all these things, and Geffen Records. It was so big. It was so massive to me that it was, it didn't, it was surreal. It didn't seem real. You know, and again, like I said, I was sort of low man on the totem pole. So I, and I, 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 if they had meetings, I, I don't, I don't know. I just remember saying to myself, just keep my head in the game, keep stay healthy, keep studying and and working with my teacher and my voice, keep working with Doyle, getting strong and learning how to take care of my body, learning how to build my body, um, you know, taking the athletic part of of things and and just and and writing and reading and just keep my my just do what I do, run my race. I. I still say that to myself, just just run my race and everything will be okay. I remember in 97 when we interviewed you at the palace and I remember looking out the window and Doyle and Jerry had this weight set uh -huh. and they were lifting weights yeah. outside uh -huh. of the tour bus, man. Now, Everywhere. so you got into that with them. Every day. I remember, again, before I was even in the band, Doyle and I did not get, get on with one another. Uh -huh. At all, you know, I, when I first walked through the door, I was smoking cigarettes. I had long, scraggly hair, and um, you know, I remember him looking at me like, "Oh man!" <laughs> so finally, broke the ice with Doyle. I, I made him laugh one day after practice, and that was it. We we were we were best of buddies, and he said, all right, "You know, if, if you're gonna do this, not that he wanted me to to lift weights." You know, he said, "You know, we wanted to be." We want it to be great, greater than anybody has ever has ever seen. We want it to be like Van Halen, um, you know, just jumping and 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 performing at, at at a higher level than anyone had had ever seen. Um, and so, in that, he started to teach me how to how to build my body and how to how to be strong um, and not get hurt. Um, you know, as as well. Once we we knew that I was going to be the guy. And I was skinny. I didn't have much breath behind me. You know, I was an athlete. I played baseball and football and hockey, but this was something different. You know, you remember in the resurrection days, it was there was no barricades. It was just if there's 300 people in the room, it's just a riot. There's yeah. 300 people on the stage. It's just all over the place. Um, and so it was. It was a good thing that that I that I began to train for that sort of thing. And something Doyle told me uh, early on. Whatever you put into the audience is gonna come back out. So just be careful what you throw, what you put back in there. Um, but yeah, those days were, were, were insane. There, there was still, you know, it was the end of the whole skinhead thing and the, and, and the real, you know, the real punk scene um, was, was at the end. But there was still those, those battles between the, 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 the factions every, everywhere we went. What did you learn about yourself during the 1997 American Psycho album and tour? I learned that if, if, if I really do just commit to something and believe in myself and the people around me, again, Doyle and Chud were my rocks, you know. I remember Chud saying early on about interviews, he, you know, he would say, if you don't have anything to say, just don't say it until you are ready. You know, like Bob Dylan you, was saying, you know, don't, you know, before, know your song well before you, you start singing. So just concentrate on yourself. And, and Doyle was, was sort of a protector in that way that, again, he would just kind of bring me off and, and shelter me from it all and, and teach me how to be strong. And, and, and I would get down on myself and, and he would be the one saying, you were great. You're, you're better than, than, than great. Every day I see you getting 
greater. And so I, I learned to believe in myself and, and learn that no matter how bad it hurts, both physically, emotionally, spiritually, to just, just keep going. With the misfits, when you get off stage, don't you have this, yeah, I'm the man. Certainly there's a little bit of that, but again, from the humble place that, that, that things originate from, it goes through that filter and I get off stage and I, and I say, thank you God for allowing me to be this, this vehicle to help whether it's five people in front of me or, or 5,000 people. Thank you for the ability to, to jump and sing and, 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 and achieve excellence. And thank you Lord for allowing me to be that person or be that thing that, that these folks can look at and, and draw inspiration from or, or, or strength from or, 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 or what have you. Again, I'm, I'm a human being, I'm not a saint, so, it's, so of course, when you have five people to, or thousands of people cheering for you, um, that does something to you for sure. Some people, it, it, it overwhelms them, they say, oh my God, I'm better and bigger than everybody, look at me. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some people like myself that say, thank you, God, I'm gonna do everything to, to reflect all that energy back at, the, at, at, at what these souls are giving me um, and, and, and give it back to them somehow. The Blaring Out Show.